this is the new one. This is the wreath one. All right. Now it's going to come in three pieces, just like the other one did. All right. And we went ahead and we we stained this one, which is a 12 inch, and it doesn't look right. So we're going to go to the um, 14 inch ones, and this is going to be stained. Now it'll come as a kit. Thank you for sprinkling. It'll come as a kit. You can buy it painted or unpainted. But the thing that I'm going to do with this is, whether it be once a month or quarterly, you're going to get a whole little kit to go, like I'm going to do holidays and seasons. All right? So, I went ahead and did some pre-drilling already. I pre-painted. Let me get this out of here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. He'll come with a hat or and some decorations. All right. So this can be for a wreath or you can get the uh, disc, the 14 inch disc and make it into a door hanger or a wall hanger or whatever you want to do it as. All right. So, once a month or once every quarter, like I said, you'll get a new hat and you'll get the decoration for that month or season. Okay? Let me see how my... All right. It'll come painted or unpainted. It'll come with your tinsel ties. And then what you do is you push it down through the holes and pull this through. These tinsel ties will keep the gnome attached to your wreath or your um, door hanger. See that? Then this will go down through here. Now, before I put that one on, we're going to do the hat, okay? Hi, Nanny Dot. Welcome. I really should have drilled the hole a little bit bigger. I'll show you how he'll look. Now, I, I need some advice from some of you on some extras to add with the door hanger. So, let me let me just make a little mark here. See if I can. It didn't go through, did it? Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this, make sure I'm on the back. I did this because I wanted to make it interchangeable. So each holiday and season, you can change it however you want it. So that'll go down through there. Then this will go down through here making sure I'm not missing anybody's questions. Isn't he cute? My husband did this for me on the CNC machine, our new CNC machine. I am really impressed. He is learning a lot. It's not that I didn't think he could do it. I just think he's really, um, really getting into it. I'll have to make these holes a little bigger because they're not big enough. So what you would do is pull your tinsel ties through and then they go through the hole on the disc. Oh, anyway, before we do this, We've got to put the hat on. And let me see. 
where I need my holes. This is just one that we just finished this morning. So I just wanted to show you all the new kit. And like I said, you can get this for out again. Sorry. Available as wreath hanger or door decor. Now find my holes. I'm sorry, I just couldn't wait any longer to show it to you. We also had a request this morning for some initials on a door hanger, so we'll be making some of those. Okay, so see, you'll get your hat and you'll get your decoration, and then you attach it to the board, which this will be gray. We figured um, the gray background will be neutral for all seasons and holidays. So we felt that was a good choice. Levon helped me with that one. Hi, Joan. How are you? Now, there will be a crossbar across here. So this um, tinsel tie will not be like rubbing against, there we go. So there he is. So then you'll just twist this closed. Then the next holiday, if you order the next holiday, then you will get a new hat and a new ornament for here. We're thinking of adding the word welcome in vertical and then like adding more over here. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that would be a good choice? Like you could add different things to it. And again, you can buy this unpainted or painted. So you have the option to make it however you want to make it. I just thought it would be really cute to um, say you have, say you buy this for someone and you make a wreath. Wouldn't it be cute like to turn around and then next month change it out? So you have something for each holiday. So we thought a hat and three little ornaments to go with it. And maybe, like I said, the word welcome down here. Or if somebody wants to personalize it, they could put the, and then we could spell out your name, your last name vertically. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Thank you, Carol. And then it'll have two holes up here. Give it some rope. Hang it on your door. Hang it at your door when you come in. I, I love them. I mean, this is just... And if you're putting this on a wreath, you can make one basic wreath and then your, your bow. And each month, just change out the hat and the little ornaments that come with it. And we figured... I like it better against the gray. See how that kind of shows everything? We felt, Levon was the one who, who suggested the gray because we just felt the gray would be neutral for every holiday or season. Isn't that cute? And it's just a matter of undoing your tinsel tie, pulling this out, storing it for next year 
So by the end of the year, you'll have a new ornament for each season and holiday. Thank you for the hearts. What one? What do you mean by that one? I mean, this is, we started out with a 12 inch and the 12 inch was just too small. So we went with the, uh, the 14 inch, but I didn't have enough time to stain this one. But it'll be this color. Or you can buy it and paint it yourself. And in painting, this is so easy because on this, all I did was paint the beard, the pants, and the shoes. And the pants end here. So anybody can do that, or I can paint it for you. And I added the detail to the beard and to the shoes and the pants. I thought it'd be cute with just blue jeans. I thought blue jeans will kind of match any holiday, any season. Everybody wears blue jeans. So I figured that wouldn't clash with Christmas or anything. Who knows? Maybe by then we'll have pants for them too. You never know. But that's my newest creation. And like I said, we'll either put welcome down here or we'll put the and we'll spell out your last name vertically. And that can be totally mounted to this. So the only thing you're swapping out is your hat and your ornaments. Uh, thank you. And if you don't want it on the disc, he's available, you know, by himself. And you can put him on a wreath and then just switch out the components every month. But then, this is the next thing that we're going to be adding. I actually designed this and put it directly on this container. So, remember the coffee stained fabric that we worked on? I attached that to this hanger also. So, you'll have... I could even put a name across here, a saying. Um, I thought this Americana one was nice, but we're going to add those to the shop. This would, it's not, I wouldn't think it's heavy enough for a potted plant, unless you're going to have it sitting on a table. This is mainly for like a silk flower, some kind of floral arrangement. So I think we're going to do these Monday night and decorate these. But all I did was, this is made on that special sublimation fabric that I get. And then it's just modge podged right to the container. So say you have a container that the sticker on the front is falling off or whatever. We can, you can give me the sizes, you can tell me what you want, and we can design it. I can take any of my signs and size them down to put on any box, container, whatever. So I'm just trying to give you ideas. I did list the, the other gnome set in my shop. It's bigger than this one, but not as big as that one. So we've got those, but isn't that adorable? I can see this with like I think I'm going to take the white carnations I have and I'm going to use the coffee and stain them and put the red, white, and blue in here with some cotton and a real pretty bow on the side. So they are, again, two more new items to add to the shop. And if you need anything put on that sublimation fabric, in a size to fit a container you already have, message me. Custom orders are always welcome. So there we have those. And I got my ribbon in, yay! So let's go over the ribbon. This was mostly purchased, this is new this year, this design. This was purchased for the bee, the bee gnome. So we got that in the black, white, and yellow. 
And look at the turquoise and the white and black. I love this. And then I have a peach sign coming out. So we found this ribbon that will go real nice with that. So that's going to be available. You know how I am with this. I love this color. So I went and picked up more of that. And then I thought this was nice because this is kind of primitive looking. And we've got all those new primitive signs in the shop. You guys still hear me? Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have anything they'd like to see? Oh, yeah, and that one. That one's kind of primitive. It's got the turquoise in there with the with the cream and the orange. What are your thoughts? Anything that you'd like to see with this? I thought we'd do one for Mother's Day, we'd do one for spring, do one for Easter. We'll make them an Easter hat and then have some Easter ornaments to go with it. And again, you're just going to be able to, to remove them and put them on. And this will actually have two crossbars across here. So this will not be touching your door directly. I don't want that rubbing on anybody's door. So we have to add those to it. Thank you, Kathy. It's my new gnome, my new creation. You can buy them painted or unpainted. This base we're going to do in gray because we figured that would be neutral. I can put welcome vertically or I can uh, spell out your name in wood. And we can put your name down the side. Custom orders are always welcome. So you want a patriotic one done up. Thank you, Nanny Dot. You're biased. <laughs> I, I cannot believe how much fun this machine is. I mean, the ideas are just going, and Joe is going with them. So that's just awesome. Yeah, and then we now have this, where I can put anything on the front of these containers. These containers, I think, are five inches. Yeah, five inches. Oh, this was the uh, coffee steam fabric that we did last week when we were staining the ribbon. So I thought that would be cute added on here. And then a, just a real cute little simple rag bow right here. And then a real pretty arrangement in there, primitive. So we've got those now too. But I can print on any... I have a special sublimation fabric. I can print it on there for you, send it to you, and if you have a special container, a certain size, and then all you do is use matte finish Mod Podge. And if this gets any kind of debris on it outside, um, you just wash it off with plain soap and water. I had my um, gingerbread blockheads out this season and the one almost looked like it had salt on it from salting the driveway and I'm like oh now what and I brought it in and I washed it down and I let it dry and it came right off so I just love that look against the uh, the metal so these will be available in the shop soon and like I said anything custom for any uh, metal or wood container that you want to put on the front, I can always print it up. So, those are what's shaking. And like I said, each month there'll be a new, um, a new gnome hat with a new little ornaments. I had, where's the other ones? I did these 
the other week I printed my own fabric and I put these on and they're really cute and they look really good against here but I used the uh, fabric um, Mod Podge and it's too shiny the matte finish just works so much better so we can add different designs to it so did I hit a home run on this do we like this where's my markers these need to be finished off a little bit so let's just paint them dress them up a little these are those paint markers And that look cute on there? Just put a little detail on there. We're not sure on the price point on these yet. But I should have that figured out by tomorrow when I list them. And like I said, you'll be able to buy them painted or unpainted. And this you can buy for a wreath or the uh, door hanger. So there will be several ways to do it. Any questions? Maybe I'll do ours, The Landgreaves. It's such a long name. <laughs> I, a shorter name like Mater. <laughs> That's too long. Or maybe I'll just do Welcome. Welcome. We could even do Welcome. Welcome Gnome little play on words we can put the welcome here and gnome here so that's another that's another idea thank you Rachel yeah I think it'll really I think it's awesome because Say you have an elderly person in a nursing home and you make them a wreath. Isn't it nice to be able to go in and change it up and cheer them up every month? I think that's an awesome idea. Yeah, I think I like the welcome gnome. Because I don't know, I'm not too... I don't know if I could do welcome on a curve and then gnome. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do welcome... What do you think? You like it vertically or you like it on a curve? What's your choice? Then we could kind of stagger these around. I think that would be adorable on their door. Anybody's door. I myself would prefer this because every month I have like six or seven wreaths that I put out for every holiday or season and I'll tell you what I still haven't put Valentine's Day out I'm lucky I got Christmas done so <laughs> I think it'd be so much easier just to decorate one thing and one thing only I go overboard a little too much Does anybody have any suggestions? Does anybody have any questions? Do you like these? They're real nice metal too. Yes. So you'd only have to change out the hat and the little ornaments and of course your bow, but 
just think how much easier it is to store just this as your wreath attachments. Like, do a gray base, and then you have this guy and your wreath attachments. So, look at how much you're saving space wise. If you're just making one wreath, um, you know, one plain wreath. And then just each month changing out of his hat and the ornaments and the bow. So you're only storing like 12 bows, 12 hats, and a bunch of little ornaments. I mean, storage wise, you're just saving so much too. So, which do you want to do Monday? You want to put him on a wreath, or do you want to do a floral arrangement with these? What would you like? I can show the new signs again, too. If you didn't see those. got our welcomes. They come in yellow, pink, or purple. They go this way, they go this way, they go oval, they go circle. Floral arrangement, Michelle? Okay, and which one? Do you want to do an Americana one or just a primitive one? Oh wow, wouldn't that look cute if I wrapped it all the way around? Put it on a picnic table and then put all your utensils and stuff in there and your napkins. Oh, that would be cute too. <laughs> more ideas, right? Like I need more. And then we got welcome to your to our hive and that will be in rectangle, circle, and oval. And then the Be Happy, which we went ahead and we made the little, we added a gnome kit, a DIY gnome kit. So we got the Be Happy in three sizes. And the Ladybug, oh man, I'm going to have to do him in a bee and a Ladybug too. And look, I can copy the hearts and the little Ladybugs to go with it. I guess I'll be doing that next because we're about that time of year. Look, wouldn't that look cute? And in the bee fabric, I have the honeycomb or I have the stripes with the DIY kit. Okay, so you're talking the brown one. You're talking the Americana one, so you want to see an arrangement in the Americana, because this is coffee steamed, or primitive. Alright, so I have to do a ladybug hat and a bee hat. And see, I will pull, we can put daisies on there, we can put bees on there. I have a little um, beehive that we just made. The coffee stained one. You got it. We'll do that one. I've got some really nice primitive steins that we just came up with that are in the shop too. I did put a link to my Etsy shop. I'll post it again if anybody's looking for anything. All the signs are in there. The gnome has not been listed yet. And I was so tempted to use my uh, leopard print <laughs> the bottom. But I was trying to go with colors I thought people would use for the bow. Not everybody uses the leopard like I do, so... Well, that's basically what I wanted to go over is show you how easy it is to pop this off and 
change out the ornament and the hat. Just a matter of pulling it up. Well, I got to attach that better. My staple was not attached. And drill the holes. Note to self, drill the holes a little bigger so it's not so hard to pull it out. And I think what I'll do is I'll also put a spot of glue because that will ensure that the staple will not come out. There we go. That's in there. Not going to come out now. <laughs> and if you have an idea that you want a door hanger, we can we can make that come to uh, we can figure that out for you too. So you're just basically removing the hat portion. Well, take it out of the hat. Take the hat off first, and then pull this through. And again, because my holes are not big enough, that's pulling the staples out again. So I'll have to make the holes bigger. So that's why it's so important to test these out ahead of time. I will make the holes bigger. I will use the next size bit. That way it goes in there. Hi, Z. Everybody say hi to Zornitsa. She's watching from Bulgaria. She's my girl. All right, let's make these a little bigger so we won't be pulling the staples out all the time. And then we'll put it back together. Okay. Do the bottom one. There we go. Let's get rid of our... extra sawdust and let's put them together again so you all can see just how easy it is now look at how that's gliding in there so much easier oops got it upside down you don't want to do that these tinsel ties will hold up a long time I do not use pipe cleaners. All right, now let's go ahead and put this in next. This would be your hat. And see, I didn't even paint the hat. You don't need to paint the hat. And you don't need to paint anything down on the bottom one except his pants and his shoes. So if you're not a painter, this is very easy to put together. You won't have a bit of trouble. So there we go. Pull this through. Z, this is where I was going to have the one with the lamb. And I took it off. Doesn't that look cool? I printed that fabric out and put it on there. I'm just pulling it tighter. And then we go through, find the holes on the hat. Work your tinsel ties through the holes.
pull that down, pull your tinsel ties through, adjust it on the front, and then put them both through the holes. So you're going through those holes, and then you're going through these holes. I didn't try the carrot yet. We were so busy with the noom, getting the noom right. <laughs> and then we made, we had these round boards, but they were too, um, too small for this noom. So we had to go to a 14 inch. So I didn't have time to cut this. Thank you. But you know what I need, Z? I think I want to do Welcome Noom in SVG format so I can cut out the word. What do you think? Have it circular or do Welcome going down? I, th I thought it would look better maybe Welcome Noom. What do you think? Hi, Thana. No problem. This is my new wreath. Noom or door hanger noom. And every every holiday and every season, I will be coming out with new ornaments and a new hat for him. And you just take them on and off. Circular? Sandy thinks circular. What do you think, Z? Can we do that? Welcome, Noom. And then see, I can make extra ornaments and put some down here. And again, you can buy this painted or unpainted. It definitely looks better against the gray. The gray will go for all seasons. So, I need the word welcome in SVG and Noom in SVG on a curve. Not today. <laughs> Whenever. <laughs> I think that would look good. I have not mastered circular circular phrases or anything like that yet. But there you go. He comes as a DIY kit or I can paint it for you. And he can be a door hanger or he can be a wreath attachment. I showed all my little nooms, my little DIY craft kits that I added. And uh, we had him in there and everybody said they wanted him in the size for a wreath. So... I guess now we're going to have to come up with some signs for him, too. Put him in there. I don't know. One thing always leads to another. But there you go. And then we have these, and we're going to do this Monday night. I have a special fabric that I sublimate on that I modge podge this to the front of the container. If you have a container that you need something for that we can modge podge on, let me know. We can do it. Okay. Maybe I have one upside down and one right side up. How's that look? I even did the finished touches on the paint job. It's not professional, but it's, it is for me. <laughs> See the detail in the beard and the feet and the jeans? Doesn't that look cute as a door hanger? I'm thinking anybody that, like, in a nursing home even, they would love that. And then you come each month and you just change it because each month we'll have a new hat 
and a new ornament to go with it. Won't that be cute? Let's see, what should I work on next? Okay, I'll, make, I'll work on a bee one and a ladybug, and then I'll work on an Easter one. I think they would be cute. Thank you. Thank you. My husband is working on a 12 inch circle right now with the person's uh, letter of, the, of their last name, the beginning letter, and then he will be spelling out the name inside here. And it will all be cut out. It will be used as a door hanger. So he's working on that now. So that's another item we're going to add to the shop. Personalized door hangers. Well, that's pretty much it. I just came to share those things with you. Show you what's new in the shop. Show you the new ribbon. And... We'll get working on it. If you have any ideas, any custom orders, let us know. And we'll get busy. And I'll list him by tomorrow. And we'll have the price painted and unpainted. And uh, we'll do a pre-order each month for the hat and the ornaments. And we'll come up with different ones. We'll make them all kinds of outfits. He's got to look stylish, right? <laughs> You're so welcome. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And we'll get this board stained so you'll be able to see what he looks like on the gray. Instead of this plain wood. Okay. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Have a great evening, and stay safe. Bye-bye.